to what I think I called boozy, obviously, because there's booze. I am feeling a little under the weather. I have I, some sinus-ish going on. So I'm really sorry if my voice sounds a little weird or if my voice cracks or whatever. Today, I am kind of on a time constraint with this one because last week I bought some fresh mint for a salad that I made. It smells so good and I figured this is the perfect time to make a mojito because I have the fresh mint. Mojitos are super popular and I've actually tried one once. My brother loves them, my dad loves them, and then I was inspired to finally go through with this when my boyfriend's friend actually made us some a few weekends ago. And it seems kind of complicated. It's not, it just, it's, I think it's the muddling that really kind of gets people. So the mojito calls for a double rocks or a tall glass and I don't really know what the difference is so I'm gonna use, I mean obviously a tall glass is taller than this but I don't know if there's like a double rocks glass that might be bigger so if it doesn't fit, <laughs> oh shit, well we'll put it in a different glass then. But we're gonna start with this one because that's pretty much the size that I think I've seen most of them get made. I'm actually gonna make the beginning of it in here because it does say to shake it so you won't actually see what I'm doing when it's inside my shaker. I have seen some bartenders actually make them in the cup but I'm just gonna follow the instructions from when I was in my bartending course and it says to shake and strain. So, I get to pull out my shaker today, which I haven't done for you guys yet, and I am very, very excited. So it calls for one ounce of white rum. And you know what? I'm actually gonna make this on ice. Oh, shoot, I can't. Oh, well. Never mind. I can't muddle with ice in there, so maybe I'll muddle and then put ice in. <laughs> you have to be really careful when you shake certain alcohols because they can what they call bruise, which means that it kind of goes cloudy. Then it is one teaspoon of cane sugar. So I have some sugar in the raw here. And maybe I should do this. Oh my gosh, why is this lid so hard? This is going to be a very challenging video apparently. I'm just gonna get sugar everywhere. Holy shit. Okay, that seems like a lot of sugar, but it is one teaspoon, so in you go. Uh, two to four mint sprigs, we'll use three, happy medium. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to break them. Two. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Three. Then the one and a half ounces of lime juice. A lot of people or and I don't mean a lot of people, my bartending teacher said, you know, to take an actual lime and put it in one of those like juicers. I ain't got a juicer and I don't have time for that. So we're gonna use just this like real lime juice here. And I have a one ounce shot glass. So perfect for measuring one, except this is not very good for, and half, sure. <laughs> it's not rocket science here. This is my kitchen. I can do whatever I want. Then it says muddle, shake, and pour. So my spoon that I actually got with my tire kit here has a muddler on the back, but I'm not actually going to use this one today because my Bacardi bottle here came with a Blue Jays one. So I'm going to use this bat muddler and it's actually easier for me to get inside the thing. So I think you just push it down to the bottom. And then 
and just like twist. And I think what you're basically doing is like unlocking all the flavors from in the mint sprigs, really, really, really getting that cane sugar. You can do this with simple syrup, which would take all the, the fun out of muddling. My, I don't know how long you're supposed to muddle for. I'm just gonna do one, two, three more times. I'm not gonna put this back down on my table. <laughs> is a little bit bigger and then you put more soda in it. <laughs> or maybe I should have only done one ounce just because it's like actual concentrated lime juice. <laughs> but it's really good. Super refreshing. And I can actually kind of feel that like mintiness tingling in my sinuses. Gross, I know. Mmm. If it wasn't like such a chore to muddle and make every single one, like you should probably, if you wanted multiples, make a pitcher. But I would order this at a bar so that I don't have to go through that. <laughs> but this is good. This is really good. I the one I had before was a raspberry one. And I actually have raspberries. So maybe I will buy another mint spring and we can make a raspberry mojito and I can muddle in some raspberry and we'll see how that tastes. Maybe next time I'll, I'll only add one ounce of the lime juice. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this series, Boozy. I think I was going to call it something else, but that's just what I decided to go with. Um, yeah, I have a whole stack of stuff that I want to make. There is going to be a video of like two-piece cocktails. I'll just make a whole bunch of ones that, not your typical like rum and coke or um, vodka soda, like the ones that are given like the base alcohol plus something else that's obviously the way you make it. I'm not going to talk about those ones. I'm going to talk about ones that have different names but they just end up being like two, maybe three ingredients, super easy to make. I'm going to do a video on easy cocktails easy two ingredient cocktails. <laughs> I'm already coming up with names, I haven't even started the video. Um, I have a whole bunch of meal prep I have to do. I am about to go and work four days straight of overnight shifts. Super awesome. Um, yeah, but that is, that is that. I hope you guys have a great Friday. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are making really awesome tasty drinks. Um, yeah. You can hear a little ice. I 
I still don't know what to do with these mint leaves. The mint leaves are kind of throwing me off. If someone can tell me what you're supposed to do, like, should I have put the strainer on and not let the mint leaves come out? Um, let me know in the comments if, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say shake and strain, it says shake and pour. So I shook it and I poured it and now I have mint leaves. But I, I, I am really, really liking this besides the fact there is a fuck ton of sugar in it. I'm trying to cut back on sugar. I think we can throw that out the window when I do these videos. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Cheers, I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.